Have you ever visited an iconic landmark and thought you knew everything about it, only to learn some fascinating behind-the-scenes details? Today, we're uncovering some surprising facts about some of the world's greatest tourist attractions that will make you appreciate them even more. Despite its name, the iconic Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco is not actually painted gold. The bridge's official paint shade is a vibrant international orange, chosen for its visibility in San Francisco's frequent fog and its resistance to corrosion. The distinctive orange color was selected during the bridge's construction in the 1930s, and it complements the bridge's surroundings while also ensuring visibility for ships passing through the Golden Gate Strait. The name Golden Gate actually refers to the strait itself, so while the bridge's name implies a golden color, its international orange paint has become an iconic part of the San Francisco skyline. The Eiffel Tower was initially met with criticism. When the Eiffel Tower was constructed for the 1889 World's Fair in Paris, many artists and intellectuals protested against its design, calling it a disgraceful skeleton. Despite the initial backlash, the Eiffel Tower quickly became a beloved Parisian landmark and a symbol of France. Originally intended to be dismantled after 20 years, the tower was saved due to its use as a giant radio antenna. Today, the Eiffel Tower is one of the most visited monuments in the world, drawing millions of tourists each year and celebrated for its architectural brilliance. The Petra ruins were forgotten for centuries. The ancient city of Petra in Jordan, known for its intricate rock-cut architecture, was largely unknown to the Western world for centuries until it was rediscovered by Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt in 1812. The city's location in a remote desert canyon helped preserve its remarkable carved facades and structures, which date back to around the 4th century BC. Petra, once a thriving center of trade and culture for the Nabataean civilization, is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most visited tourist attractions in the Middle East. This iconic marble mausoleum in Agra, India, was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan as a memorial for his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who died in 1631 during childbirth. Its construction began in 1632 and took over 20 years to complete, involving thousands of skilled artisans and craftsmen from across Asia, including calligraphers, stonecutters, and inlayers. The Taj Mahal is considered a masterpiece of Mughal architecture, featuring intricate calligraphy, inlaid with precious and semi-precious gemstones, and surrounded by expansive gardens laid out in the charbag style. The monument's stunning beauty and the romantic story behind its creation make it one of the most admired and visited landmarks in the world. Out of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt is the only one still standing today. It's estimated to have been built around 2560 BC as a tomb for the Egyptian pharaoh Khufu, using over 2 million stone blocks weighing up to 15 tons each. The precision and scale of this ancient monument have baffled researchers for centuries, with ongoing debates about how such a feat was accomplished with the tools available at the time. The pyramid was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years and continues to be a testament to the ingenuity and skill of ancient Egyptian civilization. Contrary to popular belief, the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy was not intentionally built at an angle. Its tilt is due to unstable foundations on soft ground, which caused the structure to start leaning shortly after construction began in 1173. By the time the third floor was built in 1178, the lean was already noticeable. Construction was subsequently halted for nearly a century, which allowed the underlying soil to settle and likely prevented the tower from collapsing. The tower's famous tilt continued to increase over the centuries, but extensive stabilization efforts have been successful in reducing the lean and preventing it from toppling over. Today, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is a symbol of architectural perseverance and one of the most recognized landmarks in the world. The iconic Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor was a gift from France to the United States, designed by sculptor Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, with its internal structure engineered by Gustave Eiffel. The statue's copper skin has turned green due to oxidation over time, giving it a distinctive patina. Standing at 305 feet from the ground to the tip of the torch, the Statue of Liberty was one of the first sights immigrants saw when arriving in America, making it a powerful representation of hope and new beginnings. The statue's full name is Liberty Enlightening the World, 
and it remains an enduring symbol of welcome to those seeking a new life in the United States. The ancient Greek monuments of the Acropolis, including the Parthenon, were once adorned with vibrant colors, contrary to the bleached marble appearance we see today. Traces of red, blue, green, and gold pigments have been found on the sculptures and buildings, indicating a vivid and richly decorated appearance in their heyday. This colorful decoration, known as polychromy, was a common practice in ancient Greek architecture and sculpture, enhancing the visual impact of the structures and their detailed carvings. Advances in technology have allowed researchers to detect and study these pigment traces, providing a more accurate picture of the Acropolis's original splendor. In ancient Rome, the Colosseum was not only used for gladiatorial contests but also hosted a variety of events such as mock naval battles, animal hunts, public executions, and theatrical performances. At its peak, the Colosseum could hold between 50,000 and 80,000 spectators who gathered to witness these elaborate spectacles. The arena floor was designed with an intricate system of trapdoors, elevators, and pulleys to bring animals, combatants, and scenery onto the stage. These events were often part of public festivals and were used to demonstrate the power and grandeur of the Roman Empire. The iconic Sydney Opera House in Australia was designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzon, who was formally trained as an architect. His unique design, which won an international competition in 1957, was initially met with both admiration and criticism but has since become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The building's distinctive white shell-shaped roof was inspired by the natural forms, such as the segments of an orange or the sails of a ship, and is covered with over a million ceramic tiles. Despite the challenges during construction, Utzon's innovative design has made the Sydney Opera House one of the most recognizable and celebrated buildings in the world. As we've explored these incredible landmarks, it's clear that each of these iconic places holds a unique story and a piece of our shared history. They stand as testaments to human ingenuity, creativity, and the enduring spirit of discovery. Whether it's the awe-inspiring architecture, the rich cultural significance, or the fascinating stories behind their creation, these famous places continue to captivate and inspire people around the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through some of the world's most remarkable landmarks. Until next time, keep exploring and discovering the wonders that make our world so extraordinary.